Hi friends, welcome to the Fall Family 15 for November 15th. My name is Miss Sarah and I am so, so glad that you are here with us today to worship and play and learn about Jesus. So today we are going to be hearing the end of a story. Last week we started a story and it had a really sad ending where we stopped. But luckily that wasn't the real ending of the story and the story we're going to hear today is the best news ever of all time. So I hope you're ready uh, to get started and grab your kits and let's play some games. For today's game, we are going to take turns moving and then getting very still. When I say go, you should wiggle, hop, or dance. And when I say stop, you should stand still and freeze. Ready? Go! Stop! Ready? Go! Now, can you jump up and down? Jump up and down. And, and stop. Bend. Stop. Now, spin and jump. And stop. All right, now, put your hand on your heart. Can you feel your heart beating? Mm -hmm. Is it beating so fast? Mm -hmm. In our story last time, Jesus died on the cross and was buried in a tomb. But on the third day, God made Jesus alive again. God made his heart beat. Jesus is alive in heaven today. And he is our Welcome to Crafts. I'm Justin, this is Shane and Linda. In our story last time, we heard about the saddest day ever, when Jesus died on the cross. At the end of the story, they wrapped Jesus up in clothes and buried him in a tomb, which was like a cave with a big stone to cover the doorway. On the third day after Jesus died on the cross, Mary went to his tomb early in the morning. Mary saw that the big stone had been moved away from the entrance. Mary ran to tell Peter and John. Peter and John looked in the empty tomb and saw the line in the clothes that Jesus' body had been wrapped in. The clothes had been around Jesus. He head would fold up. Head, Jesus rose from the dead and is alive. For today's craft, you will need your Play-Doh. We're going to make our Play-Doh into a shape of a tomb, but, but make sure to save enough to make a rock to cover the doorway, or you can use a real rock from outside. Now we're going to make our tomb. So first, roll it into a ball, and then flatten it. And then make it into sort of a cave shape. this and then you need to get the other play-doh and you need to make sort of like a rock shape like this and then once you have made your tomb and rock you might want to put some tissue in the tomb to represent the clothes Jesus was wrapped in. Now roll the rock in front of the doorway, then roll it away and discover that Jesus is not there. In our story today, we are going to hear the best news ever. Jesus is not dead, he is alive. Thanks for coming to Crafts. 
Well, I hope you guys had fun doing that craft with the Play-Doh. I know I love to play with Play-Doh and playing that game um, and getting the answers to the questions. So I have another question for you to answer, and that is the big picture question, which asks, where is Jesus now? I know in our story, Jesus was still on earth, but right now in 2020, where is Jesus now? Jesus is in heaven. Let me ask you again, where is Jesus now? Jesus is in heaven. Now, Jesus has sent his Holy Spirit to live in our hearts when we invite him in. Um, and Jesus will come back to earth one day. But right now, Jesus is in heaven with God, his Father. So you guys remember that in your head and in your heart. And um, let's listen to a great ending to a great story. On the third day after Jesus' death, Mary Magdalene went to Jesus' tomb. It was still dark, and she saw that the large stone at the entrance had been moved away. Mary ran to Simon Peter and John. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and I don't know where they have put him, she said. <gasps> oh. Peter and John ran to the tomb. John looked inside and saw the linen clothes lying there. Then Peter went into the tomb and saw the linen clothes too. The cloth that had been around Jesus' head was folded up. John believed that Jesus was alive. Then Peter and John went back home. Mary went back to the tomb and cried. <laughs> when she looked inside, she saw two angels sitting there. They said to her, Woman, why are you crying? Because they've taken away my Lord, and I don't know where they've put him, she said. Then Mary turned around. Jesus stood in front of her, but she did not recognize him. Jesus said, Woman, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Mary thought Jesus might be the gardener. She replied, Sir, if you have taken Jesus away, tell me where you've put him, and I will go get him. Jesus said, Mary. Mary realized who he was and said, Teacher, Jesus sent Mary to tell the other disciples that he was going back to the Father. Mary did what Jesus said, and she told the disciples, I have seen the Lord. Meanwhile, some of the guards from Jesus' tomb went into the city and told the religious leaders everything that had happened. The leaders got together and made a plan. They gave the soldiers a lot of money and told them to lie about what they saw. Say that Jesus' disciples came in the night and stole his body while you were sleeping, they said. The guards took the money and lied about Jesus' resurrection. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, but he didn't stay dead. God was pleased with Jesus' sacrifice and raised Jesus from the dead to reign as king over all creation. Jesus provides salvation from sin and the promise of eternal life. Great listening, boys and girls. Wasn't that a great ending to a great story? And when I say story, I don't mean a story in a storybook that somebody thought up and wrote down uh, that's make-believe. Um, yes, the Bible is a story that God wrote, but it's a true story. It's one that he designed to come true, to be a rescue plan for all people on earth. And when we hear that Jesus rose again from the dead, what that tells us is he is stronger than death and that he has the power to forgive us our sins so that we can be friends with God. So I'm so glad you were able to hear that message and know that Jesus died on the cross and rose again so that you could be his friend. Now I have some questions for you about the story. The first one is, who went to the tomb on the third day after Jesus died on the cross? Jesus' friend Mary went to the tomb. Who did Mary see that she thought was the gardener? 
That's right. She saw Jesus and didn't recognize him at first until he said her name. And then she recognized him. And what did Jesus tell her to do? Yeah, Jesus told Mary to go tell the others that he was going back to the Father. Now, he wasn't going back to heaven right away, but he was going back to, to his Father. Um, okay, and when Peter and John ran to the tomb, what did they see in the tomb? Yeah, they saw the empty burial clothes. Um, that had been wrapped around Jesus' body when he was dead. And they were no longer on Jesus' body because he didn't need them anymore, because he had rose again. And that is great news. Now I have one more question for you, and that is, um, what did you notice in this story, or what did you like best in this story? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Feel free to have your grown-ups send me your um, things you like best or things you notice. I would love to hear those things from you. I miss you all so much, and um, I'm thankful for you. So let's do our memory verse. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. John 11, 25. Let's try it again. John eleven twenty five. Jesus said, I am the resurrection, and the life. Great, great job. I will um, miss seeing you guys on the Fall Family 15. I know it's seeing you guys, but I will miss you um, all. We'll be starting a new um, kind of worship experience um, for Christmas really soon. So have your grown-up check their email. I will let them know what's coming next. Let's finish our last Fall Family 15 in worship. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. seasons of winter and you'd give anything to feel the sun always raging always climbing always second guessing the timing but god has a plan a purpose in this you are his child and don't you forget he put that hunger in your heart